Hey, producer Mariana here with a quick message before we get to the episode today. For the business leaders among us today is the final day to reserve your seat for the upcoming business masterclass. This is the one event of your life you don't want to miss. Click the link in the show notes to join us. Now let's get to today's episode. Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Here's your success mentor, Darren Hardy. Okay, I thought since we started the week on this theme of keys to finding your big breakthrough, we might as well end the week with another big idea on how these breakthroughs can be found and created. This morning, I'm gonna take you on a journey, a journey through the remarkable story of W. Edwards Deming. Deming was an American statistician and engineer back in the 1950s. Deming developed profound theories on quality improvement that he believed could revolutionize manufacturing processes. But here's the kicker. American businesses didn't care. They turned a deaf ear to Deming's ideas, including the automotive industry in Detroit. Disappointed, but not defeated, Deming found an audience for his ideas in Japan. You have to remember, in the aftermath of World War II, Japanese products were seen as cheap and low quality. Japan's industrial sector was in ruins and its products were not held in high regard on the international stage. Japan was desperate. They needed to rebuild their economy and industry, but faced the massive challenge of overcoming a reputation for poor quality. Enter Deming in 1950. Invited by the Japanese, Deming taught their engineers his famous Deming's 14 points, a set of practices to help companies increase their quality and productive output. Deming's principles were nothing short of revolutionary. He emphasized the continuous improvement or what has been known as Kaizen. Let's break this down. Imagine that you have 100 workers involved in a macro function, making a part performing a task on an assembly line. Deming pointed out something crucial. Within those macro functions are these various micro processes. And guess what? Those micro processes have a massive impact on the overall quality. Deming said, if you find the top 10% of performers in these micro functions and teach their methods to all 100 workers, even improving their quality proficiency by just 10%, the overall compounded improvement quality output is exponential. Let me simplify this. It is not just a 10% improvement across 100 workers. It's 10% improvement times 100 workers, resulting in a 1,000% increase in quality output. Deming exploded production quality and efficiency. He eliminated wasted time, energy, and effort, dramatically improving performance. The results? We got Toyota, Nissan, Sony, Canon, Bridgestone, Yamaha, and other top quality Japanese product manufacturers. Fast forward to the 1970s and 1980s, Japan has established a reputation for manufacturing high quality products, especially automobiles and electronics, which were now seen as superior to many Western products. Of course, Deming's success in Japan made the Americans green with envy. By the 1980s, facing stiff competition from high quality Japanese products, American companies began to adopt Deming's methods, fundamentally changing many American industries. So what's the lesson for all of us here today? Well, first of all, this is what we are doing with you every morning. We are applying Deming's Kaizen to your personal growth. Each workday, we look for those little points of leverage, those small adjustments in your micro processes that over time, compound into massive differences in results, growing you better every day. And guess what? The financial implication of applying Kaizen in your business can be equally profound as well. Small adjustments to your micro processes can multiply results. And when it multiplies across several improvements, it creates exponential growth. We've seen it time and time again in our business Masterclass alumni, now with over 10,000 alumni strong across the world, we've seen the results of how the right ideas applied to the right leverage points create breakthroughs and exponential growth. You only need to know where those critical leverage points are and what to do to properly optimize each of them. That is exactly what I give you in our Business Masterclass. We go through more than 500 leverage points and how to strategically apply and improve each one each of them having the multiplying power to produce that exponential growth breakthrough that you're looking for. You understand the enormous power of leverage, right? Leverage dramatically enhances efficiency, reduces effort, and significantly improves the quality and speed of performance of a task on any area of your life. Try turning a bolt without a wrench. A wrench gives you leverage. 
Try digging a ditch without a shovel, lifting your car without a jack, opening a can without a can opener. Leverage allows you to exert a lot less effort and get a much greater output result. That is all the companies that you admire have done. The ones that have risen from obscurity to dominate their marketplaces. They don't work any harder than their competition. In fact, it's likely they work a lot less hard. They have learned to apply leverage to the right critical areas. So with less effort, they produce significantly greater results faster. That's it. And you can have that same leveraged advantage as well to grow exponentially faster, easier. Join us at the next Business Masterclass or just keep trying to get that bolt off with your bare hands. Either way, the choice is yours.